Hello and welcome to Winging It. And we are back again. We have another game from the Lucky Lake Duck Dash. Once more against Groovenstein. So yeah, if you have not seen the first game in this best of three series, I will recommend you go check that one out first. We did win that one. And so we are here uh, in game two going second with a 1-0 advantage. So if we can win, we're through. Uh, but a loss doesn't mean we're out. We'll still have a deciding game three. So um, winning is definitely the goal, of course. And let's have a look at the starting hand. And that is not a great start. Do not like, <laughs> do not like to see these two uh, in the start at all. Let's have a look. Bonus cards are a bit better on the Vox, but with Black Chain Timing Bird, definitely an option. Let's have a look at what Groove's gone for. Ooh, three birds. Three birds and a Savvy's Warbler in the tray. So maybe he'll want to give some free cards. I'd imagine he's going to pick that one up. Um, but yeah, otherwise, hmm, this is kind of a tricky one. Um, do I go for the golden eye and the black chinned? I could definitely see this golden eye coming in handy later, but equally, no cavities. No cavities makes it kind of painful, so. Do we dare? <laughs> do we dare go for the chat after I just said how terrible it was? Uh, because it's definitely playable with the cherry, um, and it does kind of help out a bit in terms of um, getting that second bird or even a first bird in some of those habitats. So um, I might do this. I might I might go for the lesser seen yellow-breasted chat opening because um, I could play hummingbird, lay eggs, play with the seed and then get the second cherry. So stranger things have happened. Um, go on. It's going to help out maybe for some of these end around goals as well. So, um, what is the worst that could happen when you start with the yellow breasted chat? We'll see. Um, and yeah, Savvy's Warbler, as I say, wouldn't mind some free cards coming through from that. But otherwise, yeah, we're going to have to dig a little bit ourselves. And maybe our good old friend, which always seems to come up in these games, the common challenge, is going to help me out instead. So do I take that? Because Groove is going to be swimming in cards. Hmm. It's not really an end of round play. Any of those end of round goals, but... Ooh, that's a tricky one. I think I'm going to take it. I think I think that's worth denying because um, otherwise he could easily just use the savvy and I don't know I mean he kept three other birds so that's the thing he's clearly got a good starting hand um, unlike us so there's potentially something else in there um, that's either going to get him more cards or something so yeah not great to be denying that but that's not the end of the world oh red start ah okay <laughs> <laughs> oh, we might have to bin off this uh, this chat idea. Because, um, yeah, red start. Going to have to pick that up. For sure. Um, for sure going to be handy. I don't know, maybe we could still get away with the chat. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. It is still five points. And I, I do need a wetland bird. And I don't really want it to be black jet tummy bird. So. I think after that short delay of having to pick up two birds in the tray... Was it the diver? Was that the? I think that's the one that came up that he grabbed. So, at least I'm assuming that means he doesn't have kill goal or anything like that. Colt's it, okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll go as planned, and we can still, we can still get the red start down. We could still, we can still do stuff. So, um, yeah, the, the priority is going to be, <laughs> the priority is going to be playing this yellow-breasted chat. Um, and using that in each of the habitats. We're going to start off in the in the wetlands and just use that to uh, yeah start getting a bit of card draw. Um, yeah, I wonder if he's got any white no power birds. There's a good chance he does. But we'll just have to see if we can find. I mean, like 
If there's ever a time for California Connor to come up, this would be the time. Okay, he's got food. So we're going to lay eggs. We're going to give away a cherry. Now, he's probably expecting... He's going to see this and he's going to think I'm going to play a, a Thresher and Oriole. He's not going to see this yellow-breasted chat coming. This is my chief weapon, is surprise. Um, sneak attack, yellow-breasted chat. <laughs> what could go wrong? What could go wrong? I'm sure this is going to work out swimmingly. But yeah, we need, uh, we need card gen. Um, I think he's going to be quite cautious about using this Savvy's Warbler, impeccable timing, um, knowing that I don't have real great card access. But I think once he sees, I do at least have something uh, in the wetlands here, that he's going to be he's going to be more inclined. And give me cards, because I've got this Chaffinch now, um, not you. So any card you give me, even if it's a bad card, it's a point. It's definitely a point. Um, and who knows, you know, once I start to get extra birds in the forest, maybe I start discarding, getting more food. So, yeah, it's a uh, free cards are always good. Free cards are always good. So he's probably going to use those eggs, maybe, to discard. We'll see. Um, that's what we're going to do. We get a chickadee. We get a wood duck. Okay, uh, pivot. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, I was, was not expecting uh, to pick up those two. So, um, okay. Well, do you know what? Let's move the chat up here. And then we can discard. Probably this red start, to be honest, because I think we'll, we'll just go wood duck here. Um, we can get the two seeds, and then we can even lay eggs. Um, and get the cherry and then play this wood duck as soon as possible. So I think, I think that's what we're going to do. And man, I mean, like, of all the two cards to pick uh, to come up together there, wood duck and a chickadee, it's a pretty, it's a pretty solid pairing to go for in the forest. So um, I do not mind that. I do not mind that at all. And even this chaffinch. I mean, like, throwing cards to the wood duck player is... It's definitely scary because you just help them out with choosing which card to discard. But I'll say, could even could even stick this in the forest. Who knows? Depends how crazy I'm feeling at the end. But a late game grass and pivot gives you options, I think, uh, with a bird like the Chaffinch. But yes, we'll see. We'll see. If Groove could be a doll and give me Polluted Woodpecker or... Chipping Sparrow. Um, that'd be much appreciated. What's he going to give me? Let's have a look. That also works. That also works. Uh, I don't think he has, or I've not seen any Tucky Bears yet. But that is a nice point bomb. Uh, sure. So let's chuck this. And as I said, I think, I think the way we're going to do this, I, I think I'm going to do two seeds here. And then I'm going to move this down here because... This is going to get me eggs, which I need for the next end around, and also just in general. Um, but it's also going to get me the cherry, and then I can play wood duck. So, um, yeah, we're going to do that. And actually, all things considered, we're going to be on like 15 points at the end of the round, and then play wood duck. So, things could have gone a lot worse. Things could definitely have gone a lot worse. Um, what a what a strange game. What a strange game Wingspan is, but yeah. Groove still clearly is he's keeping his cards close to his chest. Um literally and figuratively. Ration Sparrow. Okay, so this is White Power, so maybe is that one of the ones he kept at the start? I mean it's a big point play, right? You get four extra points for the end of the round, so very, very nice. We're gonna lay eggs, we're gonna move the chat down and we're gonna get cherry. So there we go, we lose the end of round. We go into the next round. And oh boy, that is a tray and a half. Um, okay. I mean, Brew is Blackbird for Omnivore and instead of Chaffinch for Pivot. But equally, Brown-Headed Cowbird. 
Um, I think I think I have to take both of those. Um, I will take both. And I think... Should I leave the chat? I think I'm going to leave the chat. Because I need something in the wetlands for the center round and later build columns as well. So, yeah, we'll skip. And hopefully, not reveal anything amazing. I don't think any of those count as something amazing. Uh, but I do wonder Groove might want the Oriole. Big points. Big points, bird. But um, yeah, we can. We can progress as planned. I'm kind of hoping he takes food and resets the feeder because I want something for the chickadee. But otherwise, I think we just, yeah, we just get wood duck, chickadee down. Probably cowbird next because Groove, unless he has a chipping sparrow or something, but I think he would have played this. Okay, he did take the... Oh! Oh my god, what is going on in this game? <laughs> um... Right, well, I mean, I've got Blackbird, so do I just go Blackbirds, Killdeer, and Blackchins? Maybe. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know. And a Pygmy Nuthatch. Um, could come in handy. Man, this game is just wild. This just really demonstrates how quickly... And Eurasian Golden Oreo hadn't even clocked how amazing that is against this forest engine and Omnivore. Um, but yeah, this game... Oh my god, and we got Chaffage. Well, to be fair, probably with Blackbird will be okay, but... Oh boy, this game changes very, very quickly. <laughs> well, there's the Chipping Sparrow. Oh man, what do we do now? <laughs> do we still go Grasslands or do we go Forest? I honestly... I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, okay. Well, there's the hermit thrush I mentioned earlier. Um, yeah, this is this is not this is not obvious. Uh, this is not obvious. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is kind of crazy. Okay, what is groove? Doing. He's taking food. Well, there's no chickadee food. Right, we need to think. We need to think very carefully about this. Um, what is our approach here? Because food, I can't just rely on the hummingbird. Only cherries. It's not sustainable. Do I still go wood duck? Do I, do I go wood duck and sparrow? Or do I go with Killdeer and Blackbirds? Or... I mean, Forest Chaffinch could work. Right, I need to, I need to work out what Groove's approach is. So he's... He's got... Uh, he's got that Diver. I think he's going to play that. That's the thing. He's going to throw cards at me. So... Either way, I need a way of turning those cards into something. Um, but man, this is a uh, this is difficult. It's difficult when the game presents you with two very, two very drastic, drastically different ways to go. Okay, next end of round is cavity, so I'm going to need some cavity. I think I have to play wood duck here. And just take food a bit. Maybe wood duck. Do I play the sparrow first? Nah, I think I think wood duck. I think I'll probably discard. I mean I want all these birds. If I'm going if I'm going wood duck, maybe not. Oriole, but like I say, against if he is going forest. This uh this golden Oriole could be a gold mine. Maybe the cowbird is the one that can go. But yeah, I think I think I have to go wood duck. So we're gonna lock that in. Um, we'll see. We'll see where this game takes us. Because it's been a wild ride so far. 
and I'm ready to get off. <laughs> it's too much, I can't handle it. Um, yeah, where does this chaffinch go? That's going to be a, could be a difficult decision to make. I'm annoyed at this bird feeder because it's not got the stuff I want. Um, maybe do I pick up that white start with the wood duck? Just force that and use that for some extra food. I probably need I need food more than eggs, right? If I'm looking at chipping sparrow, if I'm looking at chickadee, those are good if I'm going to go forest engine. Um, they're not so good um, if I'm going to go grasslands. And it seems it seems like the game with the blackbirds and the kill deer and just everything else going on, uh, it seems like it seems like it wants me to go grasslands. But we'll see. We'll see. This is a this is definitely a case of too many options. I think if I just had Blackbird Kill Deer, I'd be fine with that. I'd just play them. If I if I didn't have the Kill Deer, if I just had Chipping Sparrow Wood Duck, that's fine. I'd play them. Um, having all of them at the same time does make things difficult. Okay, he's taken food again. So, I'm going to take food. And what do I get rid of? I think I think he is... He's going to play this diver. I think I wonder if he's going for some kind of like air sando thing. Um, but he does already have a lot of food, so like how much more food is he going to take? This is still six points, so... I think probably cowbird. Chickadee. Maybe chickadee. Because I don't think I'm going to go pure forest. Well, actually, no. What am I on about? Chickadee probably is better than Sparrow, so um, we are gonna we are gonna go with this in the grass. And so come on, worms and seeds. That's what we want. Actually, do we wanna do we wanna take a worm and play the white start and then take food? Um, could even play the hermit thrash. I might uh, I might see if I can undo that food. I can. Lucky me. Um, yeah, I think Hermit Thrush. Hermit Thrush could be uh, could be a good play. The more I think about it, it's a Star Nest. Um, he's already got loads of food, so we'll go off the top. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, now what do we get rid of? Now do we get rid of Cowbird? I pro we could probably get rid of this to be honest. Now, if we are going to go, we can go Blackbird and Blackbird. So I don't think we need Chaffinch. Oh man, this is uh, this is too much. This is too much for me to cope with. Okay, so we take food. We play the thrush. Um, we then take food again, and then play. We play killed it first. Or do we play? I think we probably play blackbird because if if a car comes in the tray, come on cuckoo. Wish I had kept the sparrow now. Um, but that's fine. Because I could have just completely screwed him over. And gone in the forest. Um, yeah, let's let's get rid of Cowbird, because I don't think he's gonna be laying eggs that much if he's got a cuckoo. Okay, well that's better than the blackbird. This is just this is just oh, I don't even know. <laughs> Um, okay, we are still going to have that one egg. Yeah, we're not going to lay eggs at all this round. So he is going to have to lay eggs once to win the end of round, but... Um, you know, so be it. Um, I've got other things to focus on here. But okay, he's still got the diver, I think. So I think he's going to play that next. But man... Scaled quail. Yeah, this is all very interesting stuff. So he is starting to lay eggs. Um, let's play the thrush. <laughs> okay, so at least we do have some food now. Food generation is going on. Um, oh, did I miscount my turns? Yeah, I did miscount my turns. But that's fine. So I think we take food and then we'll play 
one of the grackle or the blackbirds. Well, then lay eggs, play the other two, or the play the other one and the kill deer, and then I think we've got our grasses going. But yeah, he's still not got any tucking birds, so this goldfinch is kind of sat in reserve. Uh, it's sat in reserve now. Okay, we've got some seeds. Uh, which is what we need. So yeah, I can do I could do seed cherry here. Lay eggs, get a cherry, and then I can do seed cherry here and then worm here. I think that's how we're gonna do this. Old eagle's quite nice. So how many are we going to look at from them? We're going to look at at least six, maybe eight. So yeah, the points are not there, but I mean, it was a weird start and kind of baffing about second round as well. But I mean, how many points is Groove going to be on? He's got a lot of low point birds down. Yeah, he's only got like 15 points on the board, a few eggs. And the end of round, uh, the end of rounds is where he's getting his points. So that helps for sure. Okay, so he's going to win that one. I think we've got a good shot at this next one, though, with the cavity, so... He's only got one. We've got two. Potentially three. Could play this Oriole as well, before I do anything else. Maybe I go... Grackle, Eggs, Oriole. The Oriole kind of ruins the Thrush. That's the off-putting thing. Okay, please, please stop revealing good stuff in the tray, because that was what screwed me over in the second round. I was just having, uh, having too many birds come up that I wanted to take. Okay, there's definitely one there I want to take. <laughs> uh, do I take it? <laughs> uh, resist temptation. I think I've got a plan. I'm going to stick with it. If it's still there later, I might pick it up, but um, yeah, I kind of just need to get all this down. So yeah, so how many points is Groove looking at? Let's have a look. So bird points, he's got 10, 16, caches and tucks, that gets up to 19, 22. So he's on 31. So, uh, of course, and his bonus card. So all things considered, it's actually kind of close. The cuckoo is going to be annoying. Um... Yeah, his 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 approach to this game has to be draw lots of birds here and then get food and play them. And the food access is kinda okay, but it's not amazing. Obviously the thrush and the and the hummingbird helping out a bit, but um Yeah. Okay, he's going for food there. We lay eggs, get rid of you. So yeah, blackbirds, and then killed it. So what's that? That's five points, six points, three points in total. But then our engine is good to go. Build columns, we might have to think carefully about. Um, but maybe that's where the eagle comes in. I think he'll have us there. But we can try our best. I wonder if that quail was purely a cuckoo space or if he's got something else that needed that, like a bonus card. Because it's only zero points, like... I don't know. I'm not going to doubt Groove. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, we, we've got this in reserve as well, actually, so we could, we could play this <laughs> as well. And just go full on tucking late on because if he is going to keep throwing cards, I mean, we've got some spare cards as well. So at the moment, if we just go Blackbird killed it, we draw two, tuck two. Um, so it's net zero. But we could afford to go negative, especially with the Wood Duck. Maybe we'll take food like, I don't know, twice more this game. Um, so that's a couple of cards. We'll see. I kind of can't, almost can't really plan that one that far at this point. Okay, black turn. So that's another nest type. 
He's got one, two. So he'll have to lay his once on there, but he, he'll use the cuckoo on the turn. Um, I'm wondering if I'm getting this down. Maybe I play this now? I don't know. <clears throat> we'll play this. Maybe, maybe he killed it. Maybe it's too late for killed it. Because it was only one point. Maybe I play this in the forest and take food. Play the blackbird and lay eggs. And then maybe maybe kill it can still go down. Oh no, but I did say that, that ruins the thrush. So there's no point playing that and then taking food. You may as well take food and then play it. Um, the thing is, it could be... This is already six points. It could be nine if it makes a difference at the end of the round. Difficult. Difficult. I think he's going to draw cards next, having just played the turn. So we might get a freebie here. I'm going to play this. And then we'll see. But I don't know. I don't know about this game. This is uh everything everything came all at once and maybe like slightly slightly too late. Um I do kind of wish if I could go back in time I'd keep that chip in sparrow because I think that would have been um that would have been a good option to, to stick with the forest route and not get sidetracked by Kildeer and, and all these tucking birds, but sometimes it's uh Sometimes it's hard. It's hard to resist. <laughs> when you get given a kill deer and you've got all these tucking birds already, um, you kind of want to go down that route, but... Yeah, I could have had a decent forest engine. I could definitely have had a decent forest engine, but... Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what Groove is going to do uh, in this late game. So as I say, his engine, he's got to add some more stuff to make it uh, to make it a good engine to be worth running. Because I think, like I say, for now, it is, it is all about draw birds, play birds. That's kind of it. And he doesn't get any points for drawing birds. And he's actually, at the moment, he's not got any way. So I'm glad I picked up that Chaffinch, even if I ended up chucking it. Like, he gets one, two, three, four, five, six. He gets six cards when he draws cards. Like, he could just keep drawing cards and then tuck the ball. Um, at least this way. Unless he's got Benelli and, and all of those not. Uh, okay. Green Woodpecker. Well, uh, I don't have to worry about the end of round anymore. <laughs> he played that in the last game against me as well. Um, so he's going to win the end of round. Okay, do we play Kildo now? I think we do. Uh... Maybe I draw food, and then play Blackbird, and then play Kildare. Nah. I can always I can always play Blackbird later. Maybe I could have gone Forest Grackle. That would have been really bold. Um, I'm just thinking I wish I had some way of doing a tuck and lay in the forest, but... Um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this killed is too late, but it's a, it's a seven point engine for me. I give him a point, but six 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 points net. Um but yeah, only thirty seven points at this point in the game. Like I say, let's look at Groove. Ten, eighteen, twenty eight, thirty. Thirty nine plus a bonus card, so he's not massively there either. Curious to see what kind of big crescendo he's gonna have. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to rack my brains back to the start. What, what, what did he keep? He kept three birds: Coltit, Sparrowhawk, and then he picked up Warbler. Like, did he keep the Cuckoo and then take ages to play it, or, or was it just a keep a random card and tuck it under the, the Sparrowhawk? I'm, I'm almost not really sure. Okay, now he's laying eggs, just for the end of rounds. 
yeah, if, if Groove wins this game, which I think he probably will, it's going to be this end around dominance. I say it all the time. It's so hard to compete when you lose all four end around goals, and it's definitely looking like. I mean, oh, I don't think, like I said, I don't think I'll compete in that last one. He'll play something in the forest. Um, I don't think I'll com compete, so it's going to be a struggle. <laughs> it's going to be a struggle. Uh, but let's see. Is that, uh, is that buzzard worth taking? I think if I find a red kite and play that on kill deer, that might be worthwhile, but um, it's too late. Do I take a cherry? I think I do. But yeah, I think I think Groove. I don't know, unless I find if I can stumble my way into Benelli like I did last game. Um, I think that's probably my only my only path to victory. Maybe I take food and then play Blackbird and then just expand. I don't think there's Eagle. That would Blackbird be. Two points a turn for four turns. So it's eight points, but Eagle's also eight points, but less food. And with Blackbird, I can just keep getting cherries in. Am I going to run out of egg space if I do that? What would it be? One, two, three, four, five, six eggs a turn. Yeah, I would run out of space, I think. Oh, yeah, he did have the Oriole earlier. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's the nail in the coffin then. Um, okay. Well, now we take food because we get uh, we get food and he doesn't. Um, oh. Yeah. Not looking good. It's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. And after all this, he still doesn't have any tucking birds. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we do. Play Blackbird legs three times. Play Eagle. Because we get some cherries to play the Eagle with. Forty-seven with the end of rounds. And this is zero point turns. We're still on forty-seven. And then it's. Nine points a turn for three turns. So that's 27. Goes to 74. We play that for 8. 82. And then 4. And around points. 86. I mean, I think Ruth's going to score more than 86 with this setup. Surely. Surely. But then what else? What are my other options? Not really sure there are any. Maybe I can squeeze out a couple more points with uh, the cherries and all of that. But yeah. Oh, it's not looking good. I can skip some kill deers as well, to be honest. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I can skip kill deer maybe once, maybe twice. Depends if he's the warbler, but... Um, yeah. 47 points with four turns to go. That's a yikes from me, dog. That's a solid yikes. But yeah, it's just one of those games, I think. This is just one of those games where, like I say, kind of all came at once. Um, the start, I don't know. If I hadn't kept the chat, would I have been in a better spot? I wouldn't have found the wood duck, I don't think. But then it was that whole wood duck and kill deer and like, I'm not gonna have that many tucks on these birds. That that's what when I'm looking at this now, that's what stands out to me is that actually I'm really not gonna have a go. Five, four, three, it's not a whole lot of tucks. Um and yeah. Should I have got rid of the chippy sparrow? Let me know in the comments. Was that the right play or not? <laughs> I'm leaning towards no, it wasn't. Um, I 
think I could have. I think I could have gone forest here, but uh, we'll see. Right? Do we? I think we still use Kilda because we might still fight Benelli. Um, it's unlikely, but not impossible. So what did he... Did he he went for poo last turn, did he? I, I wasn't paying attention. I'm not paying enough attention to what Groove's doing. That's going to hurt me. Um, so yeah. He does only get one point doing that, but he does get a lot of food. He does get a lot of food. I'm wondering how many of these cherries are going to come back to bite me, but... I mean, I've got to gamble. I've got to gamble that they're, they're no, of no value to him. Because um, they're they're worth a point each to me. I've got to use them. Ooh, says Phoebe. How many eggs was that? One, two, three. Okay, only four. Oh, he's. I bet he's got a thologist. And that's eight points. And that's going to win. Because that matches our, like, he beats our own. The only good thing we had going in this game was this omnivore. Everything else has been a bit of a mess. Um, but I'm going to play Bold Eagle now because there's a fish there, so. Um, I can take that and chuck that for food. Yeah, does he just egg spam now? He probably does. He gets five points a turn for that. And then his cuckoo's going to get one a turn off me. How many times did he use that Savvy Swarbler in the end? I feel like it was only like twice. But I suppose when you've got these other birds here, you, you only have to draw cards so many times. And like I said, he's got no way of actually turning those cards into other stuff. So I think if he had Chaffinch, if I'd left that, I think he'd have been more inclined to keep drawing and gamble and turn those into uh, cards. So um, this is a point where these cherries that I give him I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. So, um, four, five, fuck you. Yeah, we do have to keep using kill deer. Um, I think. Yeah, actually, is this gonna be perfect? How many egg spaces I've got? I think I'm gonna accidentally do this perfectly. Um, so I'm going to lay uh, lay five eggs, six on the blackbird. Oh no, I, um, it's going to be one shot because I do need to use kill deer. But I think the card's going to be perfect. Or is it one? One too many. So we're going to have one egg space and one card left over. So in theory that means I squeezed everything I could out of this setup, but um, in reality I don't think that's quite been the case. Okay, he's laying eggs again. Yeah, he has got space. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And yeah, still space for the cuckoo egg. So we will lay eggs as well. There we go. Fuck you. Get rid of you. Tuck you. Tuck you. So after all that, I was so excited when the goldfinch came up. The groove. Never played sucking birds. Uh, and I never ended up playing it. So yeah, eggs. Eggs were going to be pretty tied on. Tux is where I'm going to have the edge, but to say bonus cards, he, he's he smashed these end around calls, and I think I think that's going to be a difference maker here. Unfortunately for us, but let's have a look. Once Groove's taken his turn, and we lose yet another end around, and we go into the scores. So. Yeah, I think I think this is Grooves. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be quite surprised if I win this, but um, yeah, there you go. There's the eight ethologist points, and as I said, end of rounds. He smashed it. Um, he's got I think slightly more eggs than us. Yeah, he's got enough more, and obviously some cash food as well. So even with some tucks at the end, it's not enough, and it is a defeat. Ninety-eight to eighty-eight. So there's your ethologist. Very very nice. And obviously on the for us. So yeah, kind of kind of weird game. Kind of weird game. Um like I said, I think it all just came together that little bit too slow. Like you look at the ten points and 
I mean, I ran out of egg space at the end, so I don't know how much more I, uh, I really could have run that engine, but yeah, just really struggled to to get things kind of flowing, get it all set up, and get the food coming as well, because like these these birds, they're cheap, but they still cost food, so um, yeah, maybe giving away a little bit too much food, but like I said, I think he, he, he did have enough access, and yeah, maybe too many cherries feeding the Oriole um, was not good, but um, there we go. What can you do? Um, what can you do? We had a pretty weird start, so um, yeah, not surprised really when I saw the start to, to lose, but um, it's a best of three. So it's 1-1 one, one now, and we'll have a third game to decide who's going to win that. Uh, and yeah, I think, I think I'm going first on that one based on the points difference, but I'll have to check because I can't remember what the points difference was in game one. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see that game three, stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.